Tracy, California, and the latest in the case of eight-year-old Sandra Cantu, believe it or not, the Sunday school teacher alleged killer wants the child's body exhumed, pulled out of the mausoleum. Defense attorney does. Light up her, room. her infectious laugh could get you out of your gloom. Her long sun-kissed hair shined ever so brightly. Sandra told her mom, I love you, nightly. She had the biggest heart, full of love, and she was eager to share that love. She had straight out to Jennifer Wadsworth with the Tracy Press. Uh, she interviewed Huckabee before her arrest. Miss Wadsworth, she's standing by at the Cantu home. What can you tell me about the Sunday school teacher wanting the child's body exhumed from the mausoleum? to hear that this morning when I came to work. I guess that yesterday, while, while thousands of people came out to mourn for Sandra, um, that her defense met with a judge in court and they asked for them to dig up Sandra's body. So I was really surprised to hear that. I, I think a lot of people were appalled. Now, you spoke with Huckabee before her arrest. If she hadn't yapped so much to the media, she may not have been a suspect. What did she tell you? Uh, she didn't say that much to me except to explain how she told, how she, um, she said somebody had taken her suitcase and she was just going through that with me step by step talking about how it was taken from her driveway. Then I asked her about her hospital stay. She said she was admitted for internal bleeding. I asked her if she tried to kill herself. She said she didn't want to talk about it. She didn't say no. She just got uncomfortable and didn't want to talk about it. And um, I asked her how she felt about the whole... S yep. Uh, excuse me, Sergeant Sorry. Tony Shinneman is now there on the scene there at the Cantu home. He's the PIO with the Tracy Police Department. Sergeant Shinneman, thank you for being with us. Sergeant, if Huckabee had not yacked so much and uh, given inconsistent stories to the media, would she have ever become a target, or were you guys already honing in on her? Nancy, regardless of the stories that were printed in the press and the interviews that she gave to all of the outlets, uh, she was going to be arrested soon anyway. Sergeant, have other parents come forward to say their children have been abused or part of some type of child pornography? No. Uh, we asked to uh, alleviate the fears of the community and to address some concerns that our investigators had uh, that something like that might come up. So we put that out to the public. We've received no calls. Uh, there's no indication that anyone else was inappropriately contacted by Ms. Huckabee. Sergeant Shinneman, I would just like to congratulate you on all your hard work and the Tracy Police Department work on this case. I know it's very difficult dealing with the death of a child in a case. To Sebastian Coots with KNEW Radio, Sebastian, the judge initially has said no to taking the child's body out of the mausoleum. Why? Well, the reason ultimately, Nancy, is that the judge who made this ruling this week is not the ultimate judge who's actually ah. assigned to the case. That judge is actually away on vacation, and actually, upon his return, there's a chance that he may be uh, sort of recusing himself because ah. there is some sort of a conflict, potentially, with the prosecutor in the Huckabee case. And very quickly to the lawyers, Holly Hughes, Elizabeth Kelly, and Daniel Horowitz, but first, Dr. Zonche Hua, Hua, what is involved in exhuming a body? It's a fairly common practice, especially for a defense side. I mean, if you don't have a chance to examine the body at the first hand, you're always required to examine second. Well, let, let me just stop you right there one second. Holly Hughes, they've known for some time now that the child is dead. They've had the body. Why wait until it's buried and then exhume it? They had their chance. Exactly, Nancy. And unless they can show some legal cause, they have the opportunity to review the reports that the medical examiner already filled out go over any physical evidence that would have been taken from the body and preserved. So they had their shot, and this is nothing more than theatrics, Nancy, and it's pathetic. Everyone, as we go to break, a very special birthday to the number one fan of our show, my father, Matt Grace. He's a Navy veteran. He served time in the World War, giving up a college basketball scholarship to serve our country. A railroad man for 40-plus years. He and my mom put us all through college, put braces on our teeth, took us to Sunday school, and taught us to dance. Happy birthday, Daddy. I have high blood pressure. And I was surprised to learn that it... Nope, I'm not commenting on that.